Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this video, we're actually going to be covering store leads. So I'm sure you're aware that I made a video on store leads in the past, but for this, I'm actually going to show how we source leads for some of our agency clients who are looking for skincare leads. So if you don't know, my name is Shivam and I run a leads and lines prospecting agency. So in case you're looking for leads and lines for your cold email campaigns, you can always reach out to me down below in the description. But yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, we are under storeleads.app. This is what we use for most of our agency clients to have leads from. So we're actually going to be covering Shopify leads only. So let's just click Shopify. So you can see they've got about 2 million leads that are using Shopify. Uh, then we usually go into our categories. Under categories, you want to select beauty and fitness. Under beauty and fitness we'll be covering face and body care so that's 105,883 leads uh, now we're going to advanced now under advanced you have a lot of options of what you want to choose so if you click on add filter right over here you can see you've got all these options that you can choose from under your uh, store lead so what we usually go for is an estimated sales my bad estimated sales usd so most of our clients like uh, at least $10,000 in sales, but they don't want to go over say $75,000 in sales. So we'll put that as a figure right over here. We'll add another filter and another one that I would suggest for you guys to use uh, would be Instagram follower. So if you click on Instagram followers right over here, uh, you would want a minimum of 5,000 followers to make sure that they have an organic reach, but not more than 250,000. So you can, you know, avoid brands like Kylie Cosmetics, etc. Uh, then another one that you can have is technology so under technology you can choose if you want google analytics tax uh, facebook pixel they also have that option for tiktok pixel so i usually don't use this unless this client specifically asks for it and there we go so now you can see we have got shopify stores that are in the face and body care niche who are doing a minimum of ten thousand dollars but a maximum of seventy five thousand dollars per month uh, we've got instagram followers or at least five thousand instagram followers but not more than 250,000 followers. Now, if you click on execute search, you will see that we will be given the kind of leads that we're looking for. So that's 5,059 leads. So if I just show you some of the leads that uh, this software has put out, you can see, there you go. This is a beauty brand that we wanted. You can see this one as well. Let's see. Uh, so, so under with store leads, the case usually is that some of the leads may not be as qualified, so you will have to have somebody look look at it for you. So you can see, I'm just opening random ones right now. So you can see this is a soul and soap one. So, you know, you, you'll get a lot of leads that will uh, be there. You can, another filter that I would suggest for you to use. So you can see this brand right over here is a .pl. Uh, so that would be in another language. Of course, you can select it, but what I would do is if you're looking for uh, worldwide leads and you don't care that they're not in the niche of say uh us uk i would say just click english and and then just show filter just execute the search so you can see after 5000 leads now we've got 40 47 55 so you just put out 400 leads that were not in the category you were looking for and uh, there you go now you've got all leads that are english they may not be based out uh, only in US, UK, Canada and Australia, which would be the top four, uh, but they would all be qualified leads that that will have English websites. So uh, let's just click some more. I'll show you some of the other brands that this software has put out. So you can see Noto Botonics is also another one. So you can see all these brands match our niche pretty well, uh, but there will be some that just don't uh, qualify as much. So I would 100% advise you uh, to make sure that you're checking the leads. So you can see this also is a pretty good lead again coming down to uh, how you export these leads so under store leads if you're on a uh, plan that allows you to export leads you have all these export options so you have what you usually use is categories companies location country code uh, domain url estimated sales linkedin merchant name description uh, i usually don't because it's it's very clunky uh, then we've got the phone numbers in case you want that then you've got under social media fields, you've got the categories, you've got the Facebook URL, you've got the Instagram following, Instagram URL, you've got the TikTok and TikTok URL in case 
you're looking for TikTok leads, you have the Twitter account as well, you've got the YouTube account if they have one attached. So, you can, so if you click email address now, you must be thinking what email address is this. So what email addresses basically is, is that it provides you with generic email addresses. It doesn't give you the owner founders addresses. That's where somebody like me and my team comes in. So what we usually do is if our clients give us a list out of store leads, what we basically do for them is we find them the founders and the CEOs or people that, you know, uh, they're looking for versus because they won't be emailing info at support at leads. So that's what we, we also offer as a service to a lot of our clients. So in case you are one of those who wants to do that, 100% hit me up on Facebook down below or order from our website, onelinelabs.com if you don't have a subscription to store leads. Now this plan where it allows you to export leads, etc. costs somewhere around uh, $250 a month. So of course, if, if you are looking for like something like Instagram outreach, etc., uh, this is a good way to get leads for your uh, for people to reach out to. But in case you're doing email, then you know you're not going to be sending out as much volume. It's better to buy it uh, off a list like from me or from some other freelancer versus actually getting a subscription to this because if this provided you the founder's email, it made sense. But right now, it just provides you with the generic email. So that would be my uh, basic advice. So. Yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video if you did click the like button and subscribe down below if you want to see more such stories videos and how we can cover fitness affair fitness videos and you know something of those niches that you want to see let me know in the comments down below and i'll 100 do that and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye